Well, former Vice President Joe Biden once again under fire from the left flank of his party. Let's bring in Fox News contributor Molly Hemingway to discuss. Molly, great to have you with us. And we should let folks know that we do have someone on the other side of this argument. We've got a little bit of technical trouble. So you and I will tackle this together tonight. Um, great to have you with us. Great to be here. OK, so um, this is, you know, an interesting conversation because um, Biden's campaign says he misunderstood the question from the woman there asking about the Hyde Amendment that he does support it, but that if there are other circumstances where Roe v. Wade is more threatened that he could be, you know, the Hyde Amendment could be in play for him. Um, you know, the far left of his party, nearly everybody else running is all about getting rid of Hyde. How does he navigate this? Right. There are two issues here. One is securing the Democratic nomination. And then the other is running in a general election where the Hyde Amendment is actually quite popular. The Hyde Amendment says that it's one thing for abortion to be legal, for it to be legal to end a human life after it has begun. But it's entirely another thing to force people to pay for that against their conscience. And so you're seeing these debates now about whether uh, people should be forced to pay for things against their will, against their conscience, to fund violence in the womb, or whether medical practitioners should be forced to violate their conscience by participating in abortions. And this is where the, the debate is in the Democratic Party, which is really surprising because just decades ago, the Democratic Party was a home for pro-lifers. And even not that long ago, you would hear Democrats say that they uh, support abortion, but they know it's a problem and they would like it to be rare. And now you have a situation where someone who simply thinks that people shouldn't be forced to pay for violence in the womb is, uh, you know, that's that's the new radical position for, mm -hmm. for securing the Democratic primary. It is a challenge for them. Well, it's interesting to look at Biden's record himself. Uh, he has been very pro-life in many instances decades ago. You mentioned it was a different um, time then when people, how they felt about this issue. But apparently, I mean, the reporting is that he actually opposed exceptions to the Hyde Amendment for rape and incest, which would be very different than anybody else who's running right now. I want to put up a poll. This was done by Politico uh, in, in conjunction with Harvard. Um, this was of 2016 likely voters at the time time, should U.S. taxpayer dollars be used to pay for abortions? 58% said no, they were against that. Yes was 36%. So the Atlantic writes this about whether he's making a political calculation on the issue of abortion. It says, in part by emphasizing his fight for, quote, the soul of the nation, as he's put it, over and above divisive social issues, Biden's making a bet that he can appeal to the widest range of voters in a 2020 general election. So listen, He's way ahead of the rest of the pack um, in the 2020 Democratic primary. Um, is he looking ahead to the rest of the country? Well, certainly that's that's the strategy. I also think, you know, it's worth noting that Joe Biden used to identify as someone who was pro-life. And again, while many people in the media and many people in, in uh, who kind of control the conversation tend to support radical abortion laws, uh, and they think that abortion should have no regulations through all nine months of pregnancy, or you've even seen states say that if a child survives abortion, that no medical care should be provided, that is not where the average American is. And that's even globally. The United States has much more radical laws than many other civilized countries. Um, you know, we're, we're more in the North Korea and China camp on our abortion laws than a lot of American people would like. So it's a very smart play if he's able mm -hmm. to get through the Democratic primary. But it's a very difficult thing because there is this litmus test and mm -hmm. uh, and people are already concerned that he is not far left enough. All right, really quickly, I want to get your comment on this. Um, NARAL Pro-Choice Pro America, Lise Hogue, who's the president of that group, says, quote, we would never support someone who supported Hyde, period. When she was pushed on that, does that include somebody like Joe Biden? I mean, if he ends up being the nominee and she's like, I hope it doesn't get to that. Do you see any of these um, progressive pro-choice groups actually withholding endorsements if Biden ends up being the nominee? I mean, they're not going to endorse President Trump. I, I have a hard time seeing that they would not support Joe Biden if he won the nomination. He still is fairly radical in terms of his, his support for abortion rights. Uh, and I think that they would have a hard time justifying not supporting him. But they clearly want someone who is even more out there than, than Joe Biden is right now. All right. We'll see who they end up getting. In the right. meantime, Molly Hemingway, thanks for uh, joining us. Thank you.